What's the scariest way you have been woken up? Went to bed at midnight, woke up in searing pain at 2 a.m., such grave pain that I thought my appendix had burst. Flipped on the lights to take a Tylenol only to find I had rolled over on a black widow spider that had bit me. A spider crawled onto my face. It was a huntsman, which is very common in Australian homes, completely harmless, but rather large and hairy. Unfortunately, I have a phobia of spiders, even when I know they are not venomous. I screamed and woke the entire house. I was primitive camping in some deep woods, asleep in the dead of night when I found out a fox's bark sounds like a child getting their arm torn off. Don't think I've had that much adrenaline in me since. When I was 12 or 13, around midnight, I woke up to cops shining a flashlight in the window and pounding on the door. My parents sleep at the back of the house and my dad's CPAP machine blocks most noise. I had to go wake them up. Turns out they were looking for a missing kid. Nobody slept much the rest of the night. There's a happy ending though she was found a several hours later and had run away after a fight over bad grades. So not the kidnapping everyone feared it was. I fell asleep with a box of gobstoppers. I woke up in the middle of the night and when I moved a whole bunch of things started running towards me. The faster I tried to get out of bed the faster they ran at me. I will never eat gobstoppers in bed again. I had a dream I was walking upstairs from the basement. I then walked down the hallway and into my room. I saw myself sleeping in my bed and went towards me and reached out and touched my shoulder. Yeah I didn't get back to sleep that night. A few years back there was a large explosion at a restaurant in Mexico. I live about 3 kilometers from restaurant. When it blew it felt like I was lifted out of my bed. Also, when I was about 8 the giant Pemex depot slash pipeline in Mexico blew. When we went outside it looked like the world was on fire. It was almost 7 years ago but it still scares me. So it was a stormy night in Texas and I went to sleep. After a bit I woke back up because there was loud thunder and lightning. All of the sudden I see this god awful eye blinding light and not even a second after I hear the loudest ear defanging sound. A couple of seconds after I hear the fire alarms ring all around the house. And at that point I knew that our house had just been struck by lightning. If you know the modern fire alarms, they aren't super loud but these ones are horrible. So my mom put the kids outside near the curb in the soaking wet rain and thunder to check for a fire at 2 in the morning. The kind of ironic this was that our house was for sale so we couldn't file a claim if we had our house on the market. So we had to pay almost two grand out of pocket. I still remember the flash of light and the bang right after. I literally thought I was going to die. Luckily our house wasn't on fire so we were fine but it still was super scary. Ha, easy, dad pulling me out of bed and slapping me for not brushing my teeth slash misplacing his slippers etc happened a lot lol. Was a conscript with the German army, out in the woods on an exercise. Constant gunfire no sleep all that was good and fun. But I did freak out when a mole decided to come to the surface in our tent, had no floor just earth, and proceeded to crawl into my sleeping bag. Woke up by its sharp claws ripping on my leg. Freaked the F out. Got yelled at for making noise in a tactical situation. Punishment was that I had to sleep outside and the fucking mole slept in a box with hay and milk in my tent. Still hate that stupid mole. My friend is a horrible practical joker. We were on a road trip out in the desert. I fell asleep in the passenger seat. He drove his pickup up really close to the rear of an 18-wheeler that was traveling in the same direction as us. Then he slammed on the brakes, screamed and gave me the mom-style protective right arm across my chest. I woke up thinking we were in a crash and then I had to listen to his stupid giggling ass for the next 100 miles. Either being carried by a fireman out of my bedroom as a kid while my house filled up with smoke, or my wife frantically shoving me awake while my dogs were going bananas because someone was trying to break into our bedroom as an adult. My son was home from college with his cat and we have a cat. They don't get along. We had them in separate parts of the house but one jumped the barrier or somehow made it and the cat fight was unreal. They came into our bedroom. Took a second to figure it out. It was bad. A Bengal and a Maine Coon. Woke up one night with my throat nearly closed. I could hardly breathe or make noise. Thank God my mom is an incredibly light sleeper. When my daughter was too mo we had a small device that you clipped a diaper and it monitored baby breathing. If it didn't detect breath in 3 seconds it started vibrating to nudge baby to breath. If after another 5 seconds nothing happened, it started beeping like crazy, louder and louder every moment nothing was done. One night I was woken up by very very loud beeping of said device. I was completely alone and ex house to that night so I was scared shitless. I had 112 dial in my phone when I rushed to her crib, crying and screaming into phone for an ambulance. Thanks God, the device just slipped somehow from diaper and was laying next to my unharmed, healthy and breathing baby. I didn't get any more sleep that night. I have chills just thinking about that night.
told my wife I was taking a nap, please wake me in an hour, awoken about 15 minutes later by my adult daughter screams for dad, she had found her mother unresponsive on the couch, she knew it was too late, it was a soul piercing wail that I never want to hear again. As a mom of kids ranging in age from 1 to 12, I was woken up by the sound of frantic, I'm drowning, splashing, coming from the upstairs bathroom, I've never leapt out of bed so fast in my life. To make it worse, as I was sprinting up the stairs, I could hear my husband right behind me. He sleeps through everything, so the fact that he was on his feet and racing up the stairs made it even more terrifying. We get to the kid's bathroom and I just know the one-year-old has somehow fallen in and I'm just praying it isn't too late. It was the cat. Stupid cat fell into the bathtub my 12-year-old forgot to drain. Never did go back to sleep that night, too much adrenaline, I assume, that was 5 years ago. Cat is still alive and well. On behalf of my missus, when I used to sleepwalk, I got out of bed, grabbed her ankles and dragged her out of the bed. On a second occasion, I grabbed her by the back of the neck and quickly and forcefully sat her up. In my defense I thought a boulder was going to crush her on both occasions. I haven't slept walk for 5 years now. I was listening to a weird LCD when I fell asleep. Apparently the last track is like 30 minutes of silence before he randomly starts screaming nonsense. My oldest sister and her two daughters were my roommates. Her youngest child, who was three years old, sleepwalked. She was small, white blonde, and loved to wear an oversized white nightgown. Yes, I woke up to the sound of someone sucking their thumb right next to my head. I rolled over and saw the smallest ghost ever. Woke up to find an arm laying next to me without a body. I was so scared I grabbed the arm and threw it out of the bed only to discover it was my own arm. I had accidentally slept on it cutting off all circulation that I could no longer feel it covered in blood. Turns out I had some huge nosebleed while I was sleeping. Hey hey you girlfriend is pregnant only to realize that I don't have one. The casual way my mom would wake me up as a teenager. She'd speak my name too softly for me to hear, then walk over to the bed still saying my name too softly. Once at the bed she would open her palm and slowly push down on my chest. She thought this was a calm way of waking me up, but for me I would become conscious with a pressure on my chest and a figure of someone pinning me down. It would scare the shit out of me for half a second and I had to tell her multiple times to just speak up from the door of my room. My cat decided to have her kittens under my bed at 2 AM. Not a sound you want to hear. By a chainsaw. It was outside my bedroom window and my neighbor was harmlessly cutting down a dead tree, but I have a crippling fear of mechanical saw blades and being awoken at 7 AM from a dead sleep by a chainsaw powering up was not fun. One time I woke up and lightning lit up my room and I saw my dad completely naked. True story, I'm still scarred. The Northridge earthquake tossing me out of bed. There was an initial bump which woke me up, a pause where I though this isn't that bad dot and quad, and then it really hit. The shaking lasted a long time and then, as I tried to collect my thoughts a strong aftershock hit. There were heaps of aftershocks that day, including some low frequency, which felt like being on a ship. I woke up with a rat on my chest, it took way too long for me to realize that it was one of my pet rats that escaped its cage. It happened again that night because I hadn't closed of the escape route perfectly, but at least then I knew who the rat was. Primitive camping somewhere on the Utah slash Colorado border in Dinosaur. We were building A-frame tents out of tarps. Weather had been great so I guess we got a little lazy with our tie downs. Freak thunderstorm blew up the canyon that night. I woke up to the roof of the tent flying off into the dark and driven rain in my face. My husband holding me tight and whispering so calmly into my ear that I was to run across the hall and barricade the kids into the bathroom with the gun he was pushing into my hand while he went down into the basement slash garage to confront the people who had obviously broken into our house and were trying to break down the door between the garage and basement. It was the calmness and clarity with which he spoke that I'll never forget, even more so than the fear and worry as I held those two babies in that tiny bathroom. I had a bunk bed and slept on the top one. My mom was out of town for work. I was alone at home and I felt her long nails softly going through my hair. I woke up, no one was there or could have possibly reached me. I woke up with a hand hovering above my head. In full panic mode I grabbed it and started wrestling with the person attached to it. It took me about 30 seconds that felt like an eternity to realize it was my hand and arm that had gone numb from sleeping on it. My cousin came in from out of town. He stayed the night at my place. He woke me up the next morning by punching and slapping me in a panic. I was like what the f? Then he started pointing at his throat and making faint sounds like a frog. He was choking on some cornbread I had in the kitchen. 
I got up to try to help him and I guess he cleared it out on his own. I told him I was glad he got it out because I had morning wood and may have got him pregnant if I had to Heimlich maneuver him. I was sleeping it was 1 o'clock October 31st 2020, my birthday, so my family decided to dress up as serial killers to wake up up they ended up almost giving me a heart attack. 